Greetings, you lovely people. Hello, Stranglers fans. Hello, music fans. Hello, punk vinyl fans. A couple of lovely things arrived today. Um, one of them I can only just show you without taking it all apart because it, it involves so much stuff. Now, it is true to say um, that the Stranglers Record Company, which they own themselves, Course Good is the name, um, every album that they put out now reaches three figures. They generally press around about 500, but every single one is at least three figures if you can find them, if you can find Stranglers fans who want to let some go. Um, I've got them all, um, bar the first two issues, Rattus Norvegicus and No More Heroes. Cannot find them, cannot find them at all, except for Rattus, which arrived today from a Stranglers fan in America. And this is the one I, I can't really show you that much. This is the no numbered second pressing. These you have a number here. Um, it's a second pressing because when Course Good reissued the first initial batch of 500, um, Sony fans complained that there were scuff marks, uh, the sleeves were in terrible condition, the records were warped, so. They did another batch, and those batches were unnumbered. They didn't bother putting a, a number on them. I suppose that's to differentiate between that batch and the first batch. So the reason I can't take this out and show you all, I mean, I, I could, but I'd be, I'd be boring you, I should think. Um, because you have a repressing of the choosy Susie peasants in the big naughty word, um, seven inch that came originally with the album. That's in there with a rip, repro orange sleeve. Now the original sleeve is a far lighter shade than this. Um, it's not quite so red as this, it's more like an orange. Uh, it also comes with the Strangers Information Service SIS lyric sheet um, for the album, sides one and two. That's that on its side. And it also comes with a repro of the poster that came with the album as well. I just tip that up like that. You can just about see it there. It's, it's about two foot in length, it's, it's quite a big thing. So I, I didn't really want to take all this out because it's, to be fair, it's just too involved. So if you've got the original pressing, thumbs up, I have. Uh, if you have, you'll you'll note all these anyway, bar the Strang's Information Service lyric sheet, which obviously never came with it because Sis wasn't around then. Um, yeah, so that that is wonderful. So I've got them all bar one now, which is No More Heroes. So I found a guy who's thinking hard about selling it. No doubt it's going to be three figures. No doubt at all. As this one was, as all the other course good reissues are. But, um, you know, I love the band so much, I wanted it. Always happens, you're recording a video and the phone goes or FaceTime goes off. Hey, sorry. Hopefully I've made a little seamless edit between then and now. So yeah, like I was saying, um, thank God I've got it. Looking forward to getting no more heroes. Hopefully I know a seller who wants to sell his. And let's hope that transaction goes past. Let's hope he says, yes, okay, Ken, I'm gonna sell it now. Would you want it for a reasonable fee? We shall see. So that's the first thing that arrived today. Um, the second thing is, these devils, honestly, they are the bane of my life trying to find them. Um, they're Irish pressings, the seven inch pressings with the, generally the, the beige label instead of white and the United Artists Records logo in like a, a soft brown, shall we say? Uh, they're, they're real pigs. They're, they are real pigs to try and find, but I'm getting there slowly. Today's is Who Wants the World? Coupled with the Men in Black waiting for them. Now this particular devil had a circular sticker, decades old, right over there. So I carefully got my very, very sharp knife, just, just lifted up the corner a little bit and gently wheedled my way around and it, it came off no problem at all. It left a bit of glue residue on here, but it's decades old dry glue and I've actually managed to scrape it all off without um, destroying the ink underneath. So, um, so oh, people wandering outside. So yeah, so I've 
done that, scratched off all the glue, and um, it also had a pencil price mark, uh, which I found a rubber band in the shop here, and I gently erased that. So yeah, that, that uh, looks great now, it looks like it's uh, never been touched. Apart from it, it's got a little biro mark there, but you know, to try and find these Irish pressings, I mean I've turned down a couple of three now because the, the labels are just torn, um, writing all over them, uh, all the records being totally scratched. So this one looks like it's never been played, the vinyl is perfect. Um, and yeah, I'm very pleased with the, la with the label now. Um, that's worked out great. So another one for the collection, and I'm proud to show you. I do have a uh, another Irish one on the way, another Irish 7-inch, but I will save that until it gets here. It's winging its way to me. So as soon as I get that, I shall make another video and upload it. So until that time, I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now.